Schmo with the pro. He's 11 and 3. He's the golden boy, 25 years young. Edmund Shabazian in the flesh, UFC PI. How we doing? Doing good, Schmo. Doing good. Just finished up the last day of camp, hard day of camp, and we're ready to go next week. The Schmo saw you getting it in the grappling with Magomed Ankalaya. That's a big boy. He's fighting for the light heavyweight championship. What was it like doing your camp with that guy at Extreme Couture and here at the UFC PI? Oh, it's great. You know, uh, Uncle Live, he's the next champ. You know, uh, I'm excited to be on the same card with him. Been getting great work with him, sparring, grappling, and, you know, a high level guy like that, getting work with him and putting in the hours with them. You can't ask for more, you know, and all the guys at Extreme, my coaches, I appreciate them, appreciate them all, and I'm ready to go next week. Now that we've wrapped up camp, how would you summarize this move? It's been 13 months since we've last seen you inside the octagon. You're fresh. You got Dolce, Lungum, B. The Schmo's got to mispronounce the name. But the, he used to train over at Extreme Couture. In fact, he used to hit mitts with Dewey Cooper. In fact, he's fought some of the guys that your teammates with now. Familiar foe is an opponent. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, the move here has been great. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, been getting amazing work. I took a lot of time off just to improve, get better, get comfortable with Las Vegas and, and the whole coaching staff and everything here. Um, but yeah, um, the guys have been helping me prepare really good. Been putting in good hours in the gym, you know, the UFCPI staff, Extreme staff, my, my coaches, Dewey Cooper, yeah, Jason Manley, um, my manager Ali, you know, they've all like helped me uh, get to where I'm at today and help me out with the move to Vegas and I, I'm appreciative of them all and December 10th it's gonna be it's gonna show why I moved to Vegas it's, just to dominate and you've been doing some Dagestan style wrestling you've yeah. been on some work here with Khabib and some of the others what's the biggest lesson you've learned about yourself on the mats oh man yeah anytime like Khabib and stuff come here it, it's always awesome working with them you know and uh, I'm blessed to be a part of uh, like when they come down here and uh, if, I, if I'm able to come in I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of it and they, yeah they, they're, just, they're just hard workers and, and put in the hours man and it's just pure hard work that's all I can say it's pure hard work and a grind and I'm just thankful for all of them and yeah let's go and one guy not here is Sean Strickland that guy what's it like sparring with him and training with that guy inside the gym oh yeah man uh, so since I moved to Vegas so one of the main guys I worked with was Strickland so he's he's been a good, real real good help you know to helping me improve here and like get improve here in Vegas and all that you know and I'm thankful for him too we've been putting in good hours together starting from when he uh, before he fought uh, his last fight you know and yeah, I'm just blessed to be around good high-level guys and yeah, just like I said, I'm ready to go. I'm in the best shape I feel I've ever been in and mentally, physically, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Where are the nerves? Do you feel any extra pressure for this fight more so than any others in your life so far? Honestly, no, no, I don't feel any pressure. I'm not putting any pressure on me. Like I said, like my mentally, I'm feeling free. Like I moved down here alone and like it's a different feel, you know, I'm away from friends, from family and all that, so that's why I took this time to like really like figure myself out in Vegas and improve and learn and it's been amazing. I've, I've loved it, you know, I love Vegas. It's the best place to, best place to train, best place to eat and all the good stuff for, for a mixed martial artist if you stay away from the strip. <laughs> a desert oasis, wise words, stay away from the strip. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously at a young age you climbed the rankings, you fought nothing but killers. What's the best advice you'd have for someone coming into the UFC that's young, that has lofty expectations and how to temperament things and move forward and have a good mindset? Yeah, you know, um, for anybody coming up, you know, young and climbing up the rankings, I, I say Keep doing you, take your time, don't rush, you know. I'm not saying I, I was like in a super rush, like I'm thankful for, for the position I've been at and fought, fought the guys I've fought, you know, it's helped me learn a lot of things and knowing that I, I've been able to compete against those guys at such a young age. I mean, I've been in the, I got signed when I was 20. I made my debut at 21, I'm now 20, I just turned 25 like a week ago, so. Happy belated birthday, November 20th. 20th, yes, yes, sir. And yeah, so like, uh, just taking your time, learning, taking every day uh, as a learning lesson and just improving, improving, improving. That, that's all I can say. Just learn, learn. Take as much as you can from different coaches and keep evolving and don't rush.
And can we get a final message for all the Golden Boy fans out there worldwide? December 10th, tune in. I don't know what fight number I am, but watch me. It's going to be a domination. I'm coming to win. The Edmund 2.0 is here. UFC 282, the Golden Boy Edmund Shabazian. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. UFC PI, we're out. We're out. Bye.